Rooms by Charlotte Mew, 1869 to 1928. I remember rooms that have had their part in the steady slowing down of the heart. The room in Paris, the room at Geneva, the little damp room with the seaweed smell and that ceaseless maddening sound of the tide. Rooms where for good or for ill things died, but there is the room where we two lie dead, though every morning we seem to wake and might just as well seem to sleep again, as we shall somewhere in the other quieter, dustier bed, out there in the sun, in the rain. Okay, so this poem is by Charlotte Mew. Charlotte Mew came from London. I think to understand this poem better, you need to know some of her history. Let's see, she was one of seven children. Now, three of her siblings died in childhood, um, and two of her other siblings were mad and were uh, locked away in uh, the lunatic asylum. They were <coughs> committed to mental institutions. And then the only p the person that was left was her sister Anne. And I think she was very close to her sister Anne. Um, anyway, Anne later died of cancer. And Charlotte looked after her. And after Anne's death from cancer, then Charlotte committed suicide. Um, she was, uh, she was uh, highly recommended by Oliver Hardy and by Virginia Woolf as well. Mm, quote, very good and interesting and quite like any, unlike anyone else. So, what's this poem about? Okay, this poem is about the rooms that were important in her life. Um, and I think these rooms are a metaphor for the way that her life has been confined. Um, that um, in Victorian society there was very little freedom for a woman and uh, she had to uh, do the things that were um, supposed to be done in these rooms. But these rooms, each of these rooms, is a significant room in her life. Now, I remember rooms that have had their part in the steady slowing down of the heart. So, she's remembering important rooms, yeah? And I think the slowing down uh, of the heart I think this is the idea of becoming more and more depressed, more and more hemmed in by um, society. Um, and these are rooms where important events took place. Um, let's see, there's one room in Paris which possibly refers um, to um, Charlotte Mew travelling to Paris. Um, to meet a woman who she wanted to have a romantic relationship and being rejected. <coughs> There's another room in Geneva, and I think this third one is this is a third room, and the little damp room with the seaweed smell and that ceaseless maddening, ceaseless maddening sound of the tide. So there's another little damp room that smelled of seaweed and it had this sound of the sea, of the tide coming in and out. And this is a very nice um, uh, visualisation. You can visualise 
uh, the, the, this room, you can visualize the smell, you can hear the, the sound. Um, and these are um, the, the, the rooms where things happened, important things in her life. Yeah, but these are the rooms that have had taken part in the slowing down of her heart. Yeah, of her feeling more and more depressed. Rooms where for good or ill things died. Okay, so here we go. Um, these are rooms where things inside her died, where people died. Yeah? Um, she's not feeling nostalgia, she's feeling sadness and depression because these rooms show where something inside her died. Maybe in the room in Paris where she, where she was rejected, um, her belief, her pure belief in love um, disappeared and died. And then maybe the one in Geneva is um, where... Um, um, her, one of her brothers or sisters died or maybe the room with the seaweed smell is perhaps in an, in an insane asylum yeah and uh, these rooms where for good or ill it did, there was nothing that could be done about it she was powerless to stop it but things inside her died but there is the room where we two lie dead. Now, I think this is referring to Anne, where, while Charlotte is looking after her sister who has cancer, and um, they're lying dead together. And I think almost here that um, Charlotte Mew is thinking about uh, when her when her sister dies of cancer, she will probably kill herself as well. Though every morning we seem to wake, and might just as well seem to sleep again. So this is saying that the days are all the same. Every morning we wake up, yeah, but it's the same. As, uh, as being asleep. Nothing changes. The days are all the same. We're, we're just waiting to die. So it's like they are both dead in this room. And we, we seem to sleep again, as we shall somewhere in the other quieter, dustier bed. Now she's talking about the grave, about death. Yeah, and she's saying that... Um, we might just as well sleep again as if we were sleeping in the, in the grave. Yeah, with the quieter, dustier bed out there in the sun and in the rain. So the grave is out there in the sun, out there in the rain. So this is really a very sad poem. It's, I think it's talking about her dark personal experiences. Uh, her unhappy life and um, the way that um, she is the effectively the um, person who suffers from uh, from the position life has put upon her yeah and for her the only escape is in the grave because finally there she is out in the sun and the rain so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now rooms by charlotte mew